Hello there everyone and it's another one of my request videos. A student has requested um, how to paint glass as far as I can make out that's what she was asking. Uh, so it would be a window. I'm gonna try and show you a simple way of how to paint uh, a glass window. That's a sheet of copper that I've got sitting there actually, by the way, that uh, it's a kind of digression. I'm just going to, it's, they used to paint on this years ago. And if you ever go to a museum with me, if they ever have a chance, cause we're not doing the, um, do they call them here, field trips. Um, however, the uh, old paintings that were painted on copper, they don't age. Uh, like the wooden backgrounds or the canvas, so it looks like they were just painted yesterday. So it's uh, normally used for etching, so I was going to paint on that, but that's a digression. That's something that you're not going to be doing, but it is interesting to know what other fields are available in the art world. So I've done this very quick head here that you can see and we have to visualize that this man is inside a room looking out and uh, the student she wants to know how to do a window so I'm just going to take white paint and uh, squeeze a bit out and then plenty of water and a kind of flat brush whatever brush you've got that's biggest and then I'm just going to go over the top of, of the figure like this with the thin strokes with plenty of water and thin paint. Uh, I'm doing this upwards. You'd probably be better to do it uh, lying flat on the uh, floor or on the table. So you can see I'm just going over him with the white to represent glass. I'll use this because I'm going to Now you see it's very simple even with this it's starting to appear that he's behind glass Some of the glass will be more see-through than other bits, so I'll show you something else in a minute. But you can see what I'm doing, very thin white paint. You've already painted that figure and let it dry. And you can go over it with as big a brush as you've got. You know, if you've got any old painting brushes in the house that you use for painting walls, you could try, try using one of those. So uh, just a reminder, you know, this isn't asking you all to paint glass. This is a request from one individual student who asked me how to go about doing this, you know, but it's always interesting to learn different techniques and to see different things. You know, we've been doing the Aurora Borealis. We did the water and now it's glass. So if you have a request, obviously I won't be able to do every hundreds of students individual requests but uh, if you have a request just contact me and if it's possible I will make a video and put it up and everyone can look at it so very thin coat you know use the paint sparingly make it thin and just go over the whole subject of course your painting underneath there must be dry essential or else you're going to destroy the face so you might want to put little kind of bits in it. You know, I've done it all flat in one screen. So you might want to put little reflection bits, you know, that he's got a little bit of lighter bit on the glass. Let me see. I'm checking this on the camera to see how it reads. You know, the camera looks a bit different than the reality. So I'll put another lighter bit here. 
Now you've got, I mean, as I say, you're best probably to do this flat on the ground or on top of a table surface so that the, your painting is uh, horizontal. I'm doing it vertical so that you can see what's going on. So there's a few bands there of slightly deeper white in amongst the very thin glaze. This is called a glaze when you do this kind of technique. It means a very thin painting. So there he is. Put another one there and just go over it. So it's, you know, just, it's, you know, it's art. So you make it look as good as you can. You know, you can look at a piece of glass and uh, see how it is reflecting light of course you know that's artist's job is all the time looking at realities i don't want the lines too equidistant like that so it looks like a ruler so i'm just going to blend that in a bit so it's more haphazard how's that no it's still strangely when i look at it in the camera it, it's the What's wrong with it looks more obvious. And that's a, that's a rule. Sometimes if you're doing a painting and you're looking at it, you don't see what's wrong with it. So if you take a big mirror or a, any old mirror and then look at your painting backwards. So, you know, you're seeing it backwards. So I look at it and then bang, what's wrong with it jumps out into your eyes. So that's another tip. Take a mirror, Look at your painting, see it in reverse and everything that's wrong will jump out. And sometimes you don't see that when you're painting it. It's, it's a funny thing, painting. Yeah, it's still... There we are. And you know, you can also take a, a rag and you can kind of wipe off bits, you know, to create the effect of kind of pieces of the glass where there's less reflection. That makes sense. There he is. He's behind a glass window, you know, and later on, when that was uh, complete, you know, you could take, I'm going to do something, you know, that you would wait until this was dry, but as this is uh, a one-off, you know, you could paint a frame there. Let's give it a, it's green. You could paint a window frame at the front then once that is, you know, if you want a window frame or he could just be looking through a plain piece of glass. It's, a, you know, you are the artist and you make the decisions. That's why I'm always surprised that people think I'm telling you all to paint the same thing. No, you know, what's the point in that? So these are demonstrations. They're not orders that you have to paint this. They're just showing you different techniques, but you make up your own painting for the second painting. So once that, say, was dry, you could do a window frame over the top of it. Ah, that's not coming out very good, but that's because it's not dry. So you could just paint something on there, like a window frame is there. Try and use a different color so it stands out more. He's looking through a window frame. This is pretty roughshod the way I'm doing it. I mean, you can do it with more time and finesse. So there he is, he's in that window frame. You know, and that's uh, a guy, quickly done, behind glass, in a window frame. looking outside 
You know, you can put all sorts of meanings into paintings. You know, the, the whole thing about painting is to learn how to think in paint, how to express yourself in paint. It's not just, you know, copying comics or anything like that. It's actually a kind of living experience. And that's the important thing. And everyone has a different experience. That's why I want you to get to, I want you all to get to think as individuals. You know, not, I don't think there's any point in teaching people all to be the same. You should be teaching people how to be themselves. So there he is, he's in the glass window. Putting a little bit more glass under here. And a wipe off. Rag, you need a rag. That's one of the things on your list. There we are, so very quick painting. Man looking out from behind a window frame. And the core of the lesson, how to paint the glass. So that's it, okay. Thank you very much everyone and uh, wishing you all the best. Over and out. Yours sincerely. Professor Scott. Bye.